So, in today's video, we're going to visit and tour some of the cheapest luxury villas in Lagos. And it's going to shock you how much real estate costs in Lagos that you don't know. Let's go. Hi, my name is Eddie. I'm a real estate developer. I built all these houses that Steve wants to show you today. So join us. All right, so on the uh, luxury side of uh, the projects that we're doing, yeah. this is one of the ones we delivered a few years ago. How many years ago? Uh, roughly two or three years ago. Okay. Yeah, and you, if you can see, you know, it's different from all the houses. Yeah, I noticed here. it stands out. Yeah. You know, uh, in the whole street. At the time, we sold for like uh, 250. 250 million. Yeah, 250. So if this was to be, right, like, if the owner right now wants to resell it, how much do you think he's going to sell it for? Uh, uh, likely uh, 350. So it has appreciated by 100 million. Yes. What From, really caused the appreciation? Uh, well, it's uh, number one, inflation. <laughs> uh, number, one, the, number two, the cost of the, the lands around this area has yeah, gone up. Has gone so up. Since we did this magnificent project here, yeah. you know, other properties owners, you know, have increased their Increase land values. Land. Just like that. Just like that. That's how it works here. <laughs> so <laughs> if you want to acquire the same land that this is sitting on now, yeah. it's triple the price now. The first location we're going to check out is a neighborhood called Aja. It is not a highbrow area, so homes are affordable and properties in this location have seen good appreciation rates over the years. All right, so this is the first set of apartment we're going to check out and it's in a location, it's in Aja. In Aja, the So road. tell us a bit about Aja for people that don't know. Uh, Aja is uh, a developing community. Yeah. Uh, you have an up movement of working class people towards yeah. this area. So it's an area that is quickly growing and there are massive infrastructure being put in place by the government in and all that. So this place is the next lucky. This is the property we're going to go check out. It's a three-story. How many type of units are, are there in are here? All two beds. All two bedrooms? Yes, two bedrooms. Okay. All right. Let's go take a look at it right. and see. How many units in total? Uh, we have uh, 14 units in total. 14 units. So yes. that's assuming that we're going to have 14 cars. So yeah, can this place cars, yes. take 14 you cars? Can, yeah, you can take 14 cars, yes. Are you we, sure about yes, that? Yes, sure. <laughs> All right, let's go check out the two bedroom. <laughs> I can see it has a smart door lock system. You can use a password, a card, and all of those goodies. All right. Let's get it. All right, all right, all right. It's really nice. Uh, I can see it has the whole open Open living, yeah, open, open kitchen, open, open kitchen to the yes, living room, the living room to the dining. Yes. It's really nice. So why do you think someone is going to put aside money to buy this? What's the one selling point for this apartment? A value. Okay. Yeah, I think you're going to get value for this. It looks more like the apartment you see, like a cartier, yeah. lucky one. Yeah. So that's the feel you get here. Okay. So what we did was that we brought that kind of finishing to this, to this place, location, to yeah. this location at a cheaper price. So what's the price point for this? 38. 38 million. It's cheap. All right. This is what 38, 38 million. 38 million would get you right here in If you, if you, if you come to Steve, I'll, I'll give you a discount. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs> How many discounts? Tell them now. Let's know. Uh, we'll, we'll talk about it. <laughs> no, 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 no. What's the, what's the discount? Okay, okay. I'm going to put it in the description so you can go check it out. To give you an insight on the appreciation rate, this project at off plan sold at 28 million naira and at completion is now selling for 38 million naira. So because a lot of times people want to invest when they can see. So for smart investors invest when they can't see anything. Oh. So they buy the cheaper price. So now we're selling at 38, which could go up to as, as high as 40. You know, so the guy who bought at 28, making roughly around 12 million naira in, in a year. So he bought for 28 million and now the property is going for 38. 38. So wow. that's, that's like 12 million naira in one year on your 28 million naira investment. Let's go check out another project he has going on in a different location. So, you know, we can compare things out. The second location is a neighborhood called Ologolo, about 10 minutes from Lekki Phase 1. This is also an up and coming neighborhood that homeowners are beginning to consider buying into. All right, so what do we have going here? Uh, we have um, terraces, the four bedroom terraces here. How many We're units? There are, there are six units here. Six so it's going to be serviced with lights, uh, water, yeah. you know, and uh, 24 hour security. Uh, you can see the aesthetics. We're just trying to round okay, up, trying the to finish up the project. What, yeah. what stage is it at now? Uh, we are at uh, like 95 percent. Yeah. Uh, because almost everything is there. So we're doing the lighting fittings now. 
uh, the water treatment and, and the stanchion. Yeah. This is a car park. The here, car garage, yeah. 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 Car garage for a, 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 every house is entitled to two cars. Yeah. So this will take two cars you know, per unit. What is the total land area per unit? 120 square meters. 120 square meters. Yeah. And the asking price for this is uh, 90 million. 90 million. Yeah. And on the other side, there are semi-detached duplexes. If you look, there, look at the environment, you notice yeah. that massive work has been done. When we bought here, this place was more like a The village. road was bad, yeah? You know, just no road, you know, just, just nothing. It was just yeah. an empty plot, you know. So, but we did the road, we did the drainage, we, did, uh, we, we built the house, yeah. you know. Uh, we're providing amenities, providing water and all that. This actually costs a lot, a lot to, to, to get done. Uh, so we have uh, four units of semi-detached here. Yeah. If you look at it closely, you realize they look like fully detached. Yeah. They look like standalone. So yeah. what we wanted to do was to give each person a feel of you know, individuality, having of yeah. having something that, you know, that belongs to them or something that's unique to them. Inside can take three cars, outside take another two cars. Yeah. Uh, this is actually the smallest, the mm -hmm. other ones we have can actually take four cars inside the compound mm. and three cars outside the compound. How long did it take for you to build all of these units? Uh, one year. One year? Mm. You controls have smart the switches lights. on there? Yeah, smart yeah. switches. Controls the lights, controls the AC, controls the curtain. Okay. You know, then you control speaker. That one, you know, you can play. It's a media unit yeah. where you can play, you know. Yeah. What's the asking price for this? Uh, 145. 145. Yes. 145 million, guys. How much is that in dollars? I put the figure here. So let's just take a look at the kitchen. You have a inbuilt microwave oven extractor. Cool car, not bad. You guys, let me know what you think. Let's let's look at the master bedroom. Let us know what you think. Over to the next set of apartments. We went to the next set of homes, which are still in the same neighborhood but are slightly cheaper. So this is another project we have here. It's a four-bedroom semi-detached. We BQ. We have four units here. Yeah. Uh, actually, further down the road, we have another four units there. Same, in the uh, same neighborhood? Yeah, same neighborhood, yeah. yeah. The size, uh, each of these units is sitting on uh, roughly 220 square meters. 220 square meters, okay. Yeah. So yeah. We, we have uh, four units, you know, here. So uh, the four bedroom? Four bedroom, semi-detached with, uh, with BQ. BQ, that's right. Uh, very contemporary finishing. What's the asking uh, price for this? At least it's 120. 120? Yes. So what's really the difference between this one and then the other one? The land size. Yeah, the land size. The land this size. This one is smaller. This is, is a bit smaller than the other one. Yeah. yeah. Semi-detached, four bedroom, right? Yes. 120 million on the market. Yes. Uh, guys, feel free to contact. The, the numbers are in the description, just in case you want to call and come and check it out yourself, all right? So, Let's go check out another one. Huh? Okay. The next set of homes are still in construction stage, but then again, this is the best time to put a down deposit for a home because you'd be getting it cheaper. I remember coming to this property, you know, like uh, a few years before we bought this place. Yeah. The property was going for like 23. 23 million. Yeah, the land 23 million itself. itself because we didn't have the funds at that time to buy. Yeah. But eventually, when I bought the land, it was 90 million. <laughs> I'm telling you. This is the 10th project of our Lofty Brom brand. Yeah. You know, we have the Lofty Brom, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the 10th. We, we want to do something special with this. So that's why we're not too very keen as to sell it. The project is, sell. yeah, it's almost complete. What's the, what was the projected value when you're ready to sell? Uh, you don't know yet. <laughs> I don't want to say yet. <laughs> <laughs> not that I don't know yet. How many artisans put all together? How many are you managing at the moment? Bricklayers, carpenters, tilers, POP. Just so, give me a rough number. So on all our sites, we have roughly 400 workers. 400 workers. Challenging part of construction are the workers itself. Managing these workers. Managing the workers, <laughs> the workers because yeah. they will determine the quality of the, the job the that's job. been done. Yeah. You know, so getting the right kind of workers and then getting them to finish within uh, uh, a particular time frame. In a certain quality. In a certain quality. Yeah. It's difficult. Yeah. You know, a lot of them are not trained. And sometimes you go to the extreme mile of training them, they leave your work and you go, know, to another, go to another place yeah. and all that. So it's a whole lot of challenge, you know, getting skilled people to And right work now for you. in Nigeria, there's no school or technical school that you can say, if I go to this technical school, I can get this certain labor. Yes, there, there's none. There's none, right? Down so now it's Vice and Ishala. Can you do the work? Yes, I can do the work. Oh yeah, I can't do it, I mean, we see. <laughs> The food neighborhood is Agungi. This neighborhood is known for its commercial real estate and also has good rental value as a lot of young working class people live here. Three bedroom and two bedroom apartments. Here. Uh, yeah. Now how many, how many so units? We have 13 units. Yeah. Yeah. But I noticed you have more of uh, terraces, semi-detached to apartment. Why is that? 
we were doing terraces, that's what we started with. Yeah. A terrace is semi-detached, fully detached. Yeah. You know, we decided, you know, last year to get into the apartment business. You're a developer, so which do you see people buy more because of our purchasing power? More of the apartment well, or the terraces? Well, people, people buy everything, it just depends on your purchasing power. Yeah. So, but what we did was we wanted to attend to a different segment of the market. Yeah. So like we have apartment that is as low as 8 million naira. Okay. You know, now we have same apartment but as high as 55. 55. And so, you can imagine if I'm doing something, the project we have coming up in Lekki, yeah. you know, we're targeting to sell for like 110, you know. So it's just, we're just, what we're trying to do is to create a uh, uh, product, you know, for different segments of the market. How much, how much is the two bedroom? Two yeah. bedroom here went for uh, 50, 45. 50. 45, 50 million, 45, but what you say when? So it means that sold out? Uh, we we'll scarcely probably have one unit left Only one or unit. something. Yeah. Now, how yeah. much is the three bedroom? 68. 68 very million. Properties okay. here, they are moving very well, especially when it comes to those people who want to use it for commercial purposes. Yeah. We want to do short lets. Short lets are yeah, going lets, very high. Yeah. You know, short lets are going very high. In this so that's location. why there's a demand for apartments here. Yeah. yeah, there's de demand for apartments generally in the, this, this area. Yeah. You know, so for short let apartments, you can get uh, as high as 65,000 per, per night. Per night, yeah. You know, almost, we're almost completed. The yeah. POP work has been done inside. The uh, glass work has been completed. So it's more of like finishing now that you guys Finishing, that's what we're doing. We've done tiling uh, first, second, where tiling is on the last floor now. Yeah. Yeah, there are a lot of finishing going on inside there. So we're hoping that by the end of this month, we'll have advanced you know, on the finishing and all that. The gate house, uh, the gen house, security house would have been ready yeah they would be doing the compound uh, uh taking care of the compound and yeah, landscaping yeah. And all, so yes. if you need to keep to this of course you know where to go let's go back to the next one yeah. <laughs> we've been showing you all residential units so we decided to stop by eddie's first commercial project which comprises of shops and office spaces this is our first commercial property okay uh cool. it's uh their shops yeah they come, they come in different sizes yeah we have uh, 16 all the way to 40 square meter so why did you choose to put the project here? Uh, I chose this place because if you look around you, yeah. uh, there's nothing like this here. Logola is, is, uh, is, 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 you have lots of people living in Logola now. Yeah, so, so they the need complexes for, yeah, for complexes. shops and stuff exactly. like that. Currently we're selling for like 1.3 million per square meter. And, the, and, it's, okay. and we have the minimum size is 16 square 16 meter. 16 square meter is the minimum? Yes, so 1.3 million per square meter. Hmm. So by the time you put a space together, you can get a good rental value of for that same space of maybe 2.53 million now. If you're buying off plan here, with roughly like, uh, let's say 20 million now, yeah. right? You can invest in something like this. You're sure right? of cash flow. You're sure of cash flow. Yeah. But if you're doing like the apartments, like the one we have, you know, the apartment that we have, you would uh, need to invest like a 45 million there, you know. So in terms of uh, uh, the amount of money that you invest, you know, uh, the, 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 the commercial one is slightly, the cost of investment is slightly lower than the, the residential. But another thing again is that, you know, there's a twist to residential, Which shortlets. Is, yeah. So people who do shortlets make a lot of money. money from the short let that they do. I have, a, I have somebody who bought a, a luxury detached from me. Yeah. He collects 250K per day. 200? It's a lot of like, yes. 250K per day. <laughs> Yo. The semi detached, he collects 150 per day. So you can imagine the amount of money. I'm sure he's listening to me or probably <laughs> he's watching this. I, 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 you can imagine the amount of money that the guy makes in, in, a, month. in a month yeah. from that particular project. So that's a twist that you get from a residential project. If it's in a good location, if it's service and it has good amenities, trust me, you're going to make it kill. So that's what it is. Uh, we've gone through all these locations, looking at what the company have. Property Radar is now the company. They have all of these projects. Uh, just awesome. Eddie is a great guy. He's been developing right here. And he's sort of like developing his own you know, community because all his projects, all his structure really does stand out wherever he builds, all right? And of course, you know, if you want to key into this project, I'm going to leave their details at the description section to reach out to them. And when you do reach out, do mention the word Steven. And he assured anybody who mentioned the word Steven, he's going to give you some sort of like a deal or a discount or whatever. So do mention why you reach out. All right. Look at the description section for all of that. Uh, let me know what you think about this video. I don't know. Did he, you know, show you what Lagos real estate has to offer? Let me know wherever you are in the world. Can you compare the price of these properties to your country? 
do let me know in the comments all right until the next video i'll probably see you guys soon peace